Hello, this is John for Art Nova. Welcome to my channel. You're currently in the light burn tips and tricks section. And if you would like to support my channel, please consider a subscription and possibly liking the video if you find it useful. Every little helps. Thanks very much. Now on with today's video. Okay, so we've imported an image. It's got a lot of stuff in that image we don't want. So we're going to draw a box around the part we do want. Make sure that you're in line mode and not fill mode. Obvious reasons. Select the image and then the box. And go to the menu and choose crop image. Next, we're going to trace the image. So, I like to zoom in a little bit, uh, see what it's all about, and fade the image using the fade image button. This way, you're not being overwhelmed by what's in the image, and it lets you concentrate on uh, whether your trace is going to be a good trace or not. You can use the sliders at this stage to slide up and down till you decide it is suitable quality trace. We're going to be getting rid of that later on. Okay, so if we're happy, we'll select trace. I'm keeping the original image this time, but normally I click remove original. Okay. So, that's what it looks like. Not too bad. But we're going to make some changes to that image. So what we're going to do is put it back into line mode and ungroup. All right. What we're going to do is copy this bit because we're going to use it as a replacement on the other side. And we'll mirror it. So it's the mirror image. Put it about the way for a while. And the next thing we're going to do is use cut shapes because we want just that side of this particular part of the image. So we select that part by drawing a box around, just like we did when we were cropping the image. But this time we're going to use cut shapes. And what that does, it separates uh, the two parts. We can get rid of the part we don't want. I'm just going to drag it out the way for now and then delete it. Now I can get rid of that little icon that was there. Again, we're going to duplicate this part we've, we've recreated and then mirror it. I'm using the arrow keys here, the left arrow key, to drag it along a straight line. I don't want to deviate up and down. Now, I've took it a little bit too far deliberately. I just want to show you something. We're going into node edit now. It must be noted that you have to uh, ungroup anything that you're going to be using node edit on, or else it just won't work. As you can see, I've moved it along a little bit, but there's no way that's going to connect to the other part just by dragging the node onto it. And this is because the other part is still grouped. As you can see by the rapidly moving little dotted lines there. So we'll just simply ungroup that. Now, when I reselect node edit, and I bash that node into that side, it'll join up. Good stuff. <clears throat> right. And now, drag that part down that we duplicated and mirrored and just shoehorn it into place. I'm not being particularly careful with this. I'm not actually going to keep this. It's, it's just a, by way of doing a demonstration for you. Okay, we're going to regroup the whole thing. So if we do move it, we don't leave bits behind. 
uh, put it back into fill mode and not too shabby okay what i'm going to do now is prepare this image to trace it because it's got too many different shades in it which might in interfere with the tracing so we're using the sliders um we're going to sort of even it out a little bit now i am going to go too far here and use sharpen now sharpen can be used to good effect sometimes but in this case it makes a bit of a mess of the words so we're going to use undo here just simply undo it go back to where we were and start again back into trace now we know that these settings on the sliders worked pretty good and it doesn't matter that the the words are graying out a little bit as long as they're not all full of little interference patterns yeah that's not too bad so we'll get the best place on the slider for a trace there it's always worth experimenting don't just think click trace click ok and it's going to be done you're going to get bad results very rare you'll get a result that's perfect first time so we've done that now there's going to be quite a few little mistakes on the words because the, the words uh, very rarely just trace without any problems so i'm going to turn it into line mode so we can see what we're doing right now we can see that in a quite a few places on some of the letters uh there's things we don't want shapes we don't want so i've ungrouped always important to ungroup remember if you're using node editing and you can see that's a right mess so i'm just going to drag the mouse over and draw a box over the the nodes that we want to get rid of and i'm pressing d on the keyboard now i'm dragging that node till it's uh it's in a much better place doing the same throughout here you'll see me manipulating the nodes all i'm doing is just selecting it with my uh left mouse button and dragging it about to where i want it we'll get rid of a few more i'm not going to be getting rid of all of the faults in these words i think i'm, I'm just trying to get a point across of how to use node editing to tidy things up uh straighten up a little bit now i'm going to move a node into place there you know to to looks better select just one node get rid of it little handle there at the side just just to improve its shape slightly again i must point out i'm not trying to make this perfect i'm just showing the use of the tools i've got rid of that uh, node by clicking d once it was highlighted drag that node down play around with the little handles and um you can manipulate things pretty much any way you want you do not have to accept the result of a trace you can manipulate the result and no editing is a, a brilliant way to do this uh, right i'm just going to tidy up a few more parts get rid of that node and that node really that's pretty good as it is uh, a few more ugly little bits i'm not going to delete a node here i'm just going to drag the node about but i did delete that one yeah there we go drag the little handle and the node about and you can pretty much get whatever result you're after drag that node get rid of a node play about with the handle of it so once node editing has been demystified for you the world is your oyster really
you can do whatever you want in in uh, Lightburn. It's a very, very powerful program. But 99% of people that use it have no idea how to use 99% of the tools. They may have had a prod and pork, but don't really know what they do. My job is to try and teach you some of these things. How do I know about them? I did what you should do. Experiment, experiment, experiment. Right, it's about finished up there. I'll put it back into film mode. And even though that's still not perfect because I was just demonstrating, um, regroup, you can see not a bad result. Now, I'm going to use another tool that people don't know about. This is Optimize Shapes. If you look at the, the rough outlines of this, this figure here, there's quite a few humps and bumps. We're going to get rid of them. So I've ungrouped the image. And what I'm going to do is select the outside line first. You can actually do this with a lot of parts all at once, but I like to do individual parts so you don't make a mistake that you just didn't notice. Go to optimize shapes, select the top option, all right, click in the box, drag it all the way to the right in this case, and you can see it's smooth and as it goes. Now, you can go no further than this and just leave it with all those nodes, but some people don't like a lot of nodes, and some lasers, I know, don't like working with a lot of nodes. So you can use this other tool. Because these are round parts, I'm using arcs rather than lines, and you can get rid of some of the nodes. You've got to play about with this. It's, it, it, it's a, a thing that you, you eyeball in, you learn how to do it. But to be honest with you, I very rarely get rid of any of the nodes. I just do the smoothing part and leave it at that. And depending on the condition of, of the original image you're working with, you can get some marvelous results, especially when you're cleaning up um, trace text and things like that. One way of doing it is the node editing like I did show, but you can also smooth out. If, it, if it's just little, tiny little bumps and dents, you can smooth it out with this tool without having to bother with node editing at all. This is basically doing the hard work for you. Very powerful tool. I'm only going to do part of it in the helmet. I'm not going to do the whole thing. We haven't got all day. Okay. And you eyeball it. You don't have to drag the sliders to the same point every time. Anyway. Put it back on fill, regroup, and uh, that's basically it for what I've got to show you today. So I hope it's been some news to you. Please like, subscribe. Thanks for watching.